I work between 10 a.m. till 5 a.m. What? I don't think it's an investable opportunity. If I was to get involved, I'd want to get very involved. Peter, if you want this, you're going to have to compete for it. Born in Gdansk in Poland and now living in Cork, Marek Szepitowski is a self-confessed workaholic. Marek's professional background in health and safety, combined with his time spent as a publisher, gave him the springboard to launch the company he's pitching today. Hello, Dragons. My name is Marek Szepitowski, and I'm a founder and managing director of Health and Safety Publications Limited. I'm seeking investment of 60,000 euro and I offer 10% of shares of my company. We are the supplier of safety manuals with sales of over 100,000 books last year. We achieved big success in Ireland and I think we're ready to copy that success to the UK. We'd also like to uh, expound, uh, uh, expand into digital market as well as published books. I'd like to welcome any questions you may have. Thank you very much for listening to me. Marek isn't giving much away with his presentation, but it remains to be seen whether the Dragons will be giving away any of their money. Unsurprisingly, Ramona Nicholas wants to get a little more detail. Hi, Marek. I'm Ramona. Hello, Ramona. Talk to me about your sales. You said you've sold 100,000 units in Ireland already. Uh, last year's sales were uh, just over 335,000. Um, half of that would be gross profit and half of it again would be net profit. This year, this fiscal year, we already increased by 40 to 50 percent throughout December, January and February. Hi Marek, I'm Gavin. Um, what percentage is bought directly by the company? What percentage is bought by trainers? Uh, uh, you know, people who are health and safety consultants out delivering this type of training. About maybe 75 percent would be trainers and about 25% would be other companies uh, such as manufacturers of equipment or let's say large organizations as pharmaceuticals who buy from us. Hi Marek, I'm Eamon. Hello Eamon. Um, if you think of areas uh, that are likely to be ripe for innovation, uh, training manuals wouldn't be one of them, I have to say. You've obviously captured a big chunk of the market. How, how have you done that? What's, what's, what's your special sauce? My research was that you have proper publication published by a publishing house, well established, and the manuals are beyond your pocket. And then you have companies that I call cowboys, a company that will go online, make up their manual in half day and sell it cheap. So what we did, we provide good quality for a good price. So best of two worlds. It's a good formula. Hi, Marek, I'm Barry. Hello, Barry. So what's your top selling book and what percentage of your volume is that? At the moment, it is a first aid manual. Um, it was only published in September last year. And since then, we either sold or secured sales um, roundabouts of 22,000 books. What's the difference between sold and secured sales? What happens with some customers, they don't want to spend the money in one go, but they want to commit that they will buy, let's say, 5,000 books from us. So you're at 335,000 sales last year, that's real actual sales? Oh yes, yes. Okay. Of course, yeah. Thanks. A third of a million in sales is not to be sneezed at. Marek has obviously tapped into a lucrative area, but not an obvious one for an entrepreneur. Peter Casey is curious as to what motivated him to set up his publishing company. What, what inspired you to get into this, this aspect of it? Okay. Myself and my wife were working for a consultancy company, but then recession came and we lost our jobs. And I have experience with publishing from Poland, right. and I used to live there. So I thought I'll join the two and we'll see what comes out. 60k, can you just break that down for me, Mark? What do you want to spend okay. on? Uh, 60,000 we'd like to use for an employee, um, graphic designer, and somebody who'd help me. I work. Uh, between 10 a.m. till 5 a.m. every day. That's a pretty long day. What? 10 to 5, yeah. Including Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, to 5 a.m.? Yeah, that's 19 hours a day, guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you said 5 p.m. That's what I wanted to make That's 19 sure. hours a day. It, it looked oh as goodness. if you were working seven hours a day. No, Peter, no. Peter has no concept of working that long. He sleeps 19 hours a day. I think you're breaking your own health and safety rules there. Yeah. <laughs> I am. If the stars align, Mark, what would you, what would you like to achieve for the next three years, say? Just 
Mm -hmm. This year we increased about 40 to 50 percent. So if we stopped developing new products, I would expect about 500,000. So what's important as well is every time we publish new book, we, we get whole sector of clients. So when we published first aid manual, companies that didn't buy from us because their main uh, business was first aid, started buying not only first aid but other books. So I think it would be safe to say um, maybe a million this year without help of the dragon. With help of the dragon, I, I don't know. Mark, um, you're obviously a very hard worker and a grafter. It's an area just that I'm not entirely passionate about, um, while I believe it's very, very important. Um, but it doesn't excite me to a level that I feel I would want to invest in it. So therefore, I'm out. Thank you very much. So Marek gets his first refusal. Ramona isn't feeling passionate about the product he's selling. Have any of the others been smitten? It seems to me like you need help in two directions. One is to take your content digital. Yes. And the other one is to take your content into the UK. But which is the priority for you? I think I'd start with UK and the reason for it, there are already customers looking for it. I don't even know which way I want to go in relation yes. to the digital world, but I know I have customers looking for our books in the UK. So yes, I would like to expand in the UK. You uh, seem like a guy who would be very easy to work with and, and you've, you've achieved a lot to break into that market, which was already served. Um, and I'm just, I probably would be able to help more on the back end of the compliance end and digitizing all of that sort of stuff. Um, so it's probably just not in, in the right zone for me. So I'm out. Thank you very much. Marek, the one problem I have with it is, and the problem isn't yours, uh, I'm very much in the training business. If I was to get involved, I'd want to get very involved because I think you need a bit of strategic help and direction. But it it would dilute my brand or cause more confusion uh, for, for, for what we do. Uh, but um, it's great to see a profitable business uh, with a good growth strategy coming into the den. Uh, so in other circumstances, uh, I would have liked to have chipped in, but I'm going to say I'm out. Thank you very much. The dragons are full of praise, but that's not what Marek is looking for. Three down, two to go. Are either Barry O'Sullivan or Peter Casey prepared to offer more than platitudes? You're an inspiration, what you've done, what you've achieved. And um, I, I, I am going to make you an offer, but I, I want more than 10, 10% 10 doesn't really excite me. Okay. You know, if my good friend Barry wants to come in, I'd happy to let him in or I'll do it on my own. But I want 60,000 for 25%. Okay, thank you very much. Peter, if you want this, you're going to have to compete for it. That's a joke of an offer, to want a quarter of what you've built. We might have a long discussion about whether we go to the UK first or where we go, whether we go digital first. Okay. Uh, but what I'd like us to do is to go both directions very quickly because this is a land grab. Uh, it's about getting your content on as many platforms and in as mm -hmm. many countries as possible in the shortest time. Yeah. I live in Ireland. So we'd be able to work together reasonably regularly. I do want to be clear with you though that I have a real job, I run my own company, and um, that takes most of my time. So I wouldn't be part of your company, I'd be a very strong advisor to you. So my offer to you is 60,000 for 12.5% of your company. Okay. Thank you. you. Want to take some time to think about it? Hold on. I haven't finished yet. She's still plenty of time to think. So he's right. He's, Barry is setting up his own company, so you, know, you won't see too much of him. His wife will be lucky to see him next year or two. So I'm in a different situation. My business is very established. I've got general managers who run them. So you know, you, you'd see a lot more of me than you, than you would. But um, I, I, I really understand sales. I'm a salesman. Obviously, Barry is a brilliant technician. Uh, but, you know, we can outsource the technology part of it to, to India. My biggest client is one of the largest consulting firms in the world. So I will improve my offer. Okay. But I would want more than Barry. But I will give you the opportunity to get back down to 10 if you, you know, will sit down and agree certain numbers. But I'd want to start off at 20. Okay. But it would be your numbers that you would set. Thank you very much. Marek, 
I will give you 60k for 10% of the company. 60k for 10%. 15% working its way down to 10%. 10%. Marek, this is fantastic. Go down to the end I of the will. room, have a think, you have a big decision to I make. Will, and if you don't uh, mind, I will take a minute. Thank you very much. The spectacle of watching two dragons locked in combat may be delighting one of their peers. But for Marek, this is one of the biggest decisions of his life. In the end, the man who works 19 hours a day, seven days a week, doesn't take long to decide. I'd like to thank you both for your great offers. Um, I did come here having a dragon in mind. Peter, I'd like to uh, thank you for your offer and accept uh, Barry's offer. Thank very you very much. Well Fantastic. Thank you very much. So Marek gets his man and Barry gets his deal. Once again, Peter Casey has been pipped at the post. Good competition. There you go. Well done, Mark. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Well done. But with the dust of battle starting to settle, Barry extends the hand of peace. Peter, it was a fair fight. I was going to let him choose his own numbers, you know. Yeah, I, I no, like, you made a very fair offer. For a guy that you're very friendly with, you really slammed the door on Peter's face. <laughs> 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 Nothing personal. <laughs> Just business, Peter. <laughs> Marek, congratulations, well done in there. You had two dragons slugging it out to buy into your business. That must have been a good feeling, was it? Nothing better than that, to be honest. It was great, yeah. When Peter made the offer, Barry threw down the gauntlet saying, you're going to have to compete for it. What did you think at that stage? That was the best moment, because at least I know that once there's a competition, we'll, we'll end up with less than 25%. The two dragons did all of the negotiating for you. You didn't even have to speak. I got what I wanted, and I got the dragon I came for. I got, I, I got 100% of my target. Congratulations, and jinquia, as they say in Poland. Jinquia, bardzo. Thank you.